Hey guys! Today I'm actually throwing, um, you know, with my husband we're throwing a our annual end of summer barbecue. We always do this on Labor Day weekend. We always have our kicking off summer barbecue on Labor Day weekend. Um, and then our end of summer barbecue, <coughs> excuse me, on Memorial Day weekend. And sometimes we have one or two in between depending on how much we're traveling in a particular year. We were away a lot this summer so we actually only had the Labor Day one and now we're having this Memorial Day one. Um, so I never got to do the more in-depth look at planning a barbecue for a large crowd that I was hoping to do. So I'm going to do that for next Labor Day so you can expect a more in-depth video next um, spring or May or whatever. Um, but I did want to just film this because basically I'm doing the easiest barbecue I know how and it's my easiest party. Um, even easier than the easy brunch one which I know I posted a video on because um, you know my husband cooks the main dish for this. He smokes meat, he smokes ribs and um, lamb. What rack of lamb? I don't know. I don't eat lamb so I'm not sure what it is. But um, and then I have basically all my family members are bringing the sides so all I'm making is one side and two desserts. Pretty easy and everything else I purchased, I bought. You know, I could have made some things here and there that I bought, but the thing is I just got home from our last trip just four days ago, so I didn't really have a lot of time to pull this together and I kind of have a lot on my plate right now and I still wanted to throw the party without being stressed out not being able to enjoy myself. So this is like the basic, easiest thing I can do. Um, it's my go-to fall back on easy barbecue menu. Um, and I basically, I prepare for it the same way I prepare for any party, by um, making lists and doing a lot of prep work. So I'm just going to show you right now. I did my grocery shopping on Thursday, because like I said, we got home on Wednesday and we didn't have any food. But I generally do grocery shopping for a party about three or four days in advance, um, depending on the kinds of ingredients I need. Usually I'll do the bulk of my shopping at that point, and then maybe I'll go back, you know, at the day before the party if I need something that's more perishable or fresher. Um, but I have my Whole Foods list here. I also went to Dominic's, which is like our just our regular grocery store, but I lost that list. Um, because it's the same grocery list I always make. I organize by category, just makes it easier. And what I did to make this list was I sat down with my list of um, menu items, which of course I didn't bring downstairs. But, you know, I thought out what I was going to have on my menu before. Um, and I'll show that in a later clip because it's upstairs still. And then I kind of figured out who was bringing what, and I confirmed that with my family members. I saw what I needed to provide, what things I needed to have on hand, and then I made my list. And I had a couple recipes I had to pull ingredients from, um, you know, to add to my um, cupboard and fridge so I'd be prepared. And that's what I did. I looked carefully over the recipes. You always look over your recipes at least twice, reading them all the way through even the directions because you never know when something's going to pop up and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have cheesecloth and your party's in two hours. So <laughs> uh, it's good to read all the way through the recipe. Um, so I made my grocery list. I went grocery shopping. I had all my recipes, you know, out and ready to go. I had my um, party list, who was coming, my guest list, and also what I was serving for appetizers or snacks, whatever you want to call them. The main event, so dinner. And then dessert. And that's how I broke it down by category, but I'll show you that list later. And then on Friday, at the end of the day, I kind of started thinking more about what I needed to do to get ready for this party. So we're having the party today, which is Sunday. It's a Sunday Memorial Day weekend. I prefer to have um, our evening parties on a, um, you know, a weekend night, not a school night. Um, so I know Labor Day, excuse me, is not until tomorrow, but this, most people don't do not work on Labor Day um, in America. So um, that's why we're having the party today and not tomorrow. Um, so I basically kind of went through and made two lists. One for Saturday. No, that's Sunday. <laughs> one for Saturday, one for Sunday. Now, um, and this is, you know, just on any old note paper. And this is sort of my working out what I need to do list. So it's sort of like the rough draft. 
Um, although I did use this as my to-do list yesterday because my rough draft ended up being good enough to be my final draft. And basically what I did yesterday, which I'm about to show you, is I prepped for today. Um, and I'll just kind of go through the list and tell you what I did um, when I show you. But um, I did a lot of prep work with setting up things, getting out platters, um, getting my kitchen ready, that sort of thing, um, which was very good. So today, I'm all ready to go. Now, there are some parties, that, like I said, this is my easiest party, but there are some parties where I need to do more intensive um, prep work that might include cooking or baking some things in advance. Fortunately, this party, because so many people are helping out and I don't have to make a whole lot, I didn't have to do that. So today is pretty easy. I have to bake three things. Not so hard. I love baking. And I'm going to get started as soon as I finish filming this part. Um, and uh, I just have to, you know, prep the snacks and stuff and get my house in order. Um, but it's basically like ready for me to go. So today is not stressful. Yes, I have a long list. So this was my rough draft list for today. And then last night what I did is I took this list right before bed. I looked it over. I added in a couple of things and I kind of worked out kind of the timing that I would need for each thing with ample extra time because I always find that I at least need 15 to 30 minutes more than I think I do generally in a day when it's this packed. Um, like minimum. <laughs> so uh, I kind of went through, I thought about it, and I made a more detailed to-do list with times of things. And I'm already actually a little bit, I'm about a half an hour behind schedule, but it's okay because um, I decided to take my shower first thing this morning instead of taking it later, which is what I had planned on. Um, so that actually will save me time later. Um, and I had a bunch of like flexible extra time built into the schedule. Um, so this isn't like I have to follow this to a T or the world's going to end. No. It's a general guideline. Uh, much like my Thanksgiving to-do list, which um, I did a video on last year. But it's just general guideline to help me kind of stay within my parameters of time so I'm not crunched at the end. Um, my phone's ringing. Of course it's ringing. Okay, um, this just really helps me feel better. Some people might look at this with all the time, time like actual times of day that I put on it and the constraints I gave myself and get like very stressed about it, but this actually helps me relax. So you kind of have to work out for yourself what system is going to work best for you. This works best for me. Um, and uh, so now I'm going to start baking, but first I'm going to take you around my... Um, kitchen here in my house and kind of show you what I've done to prepare basically what I did yesterday and um, I'll check back with you in, in with you throughout the day so I'll see you guys throughout the day okay I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour around show you what I did yesterday to prepare um, I got out so I set up my table with uh, one of these vinyl tablecloths because it's a barbecue it's messy and I have my table pads on so I did that yesterday Decided we don't have to put the leaf in the table because we're only having 12 people and six can sit in here and six can sit at the table outside. I got out all the platters and serving pieces I need. All of the, our flat, you know, we use plastic disposable for barbecue because it's so messy. <laughs> so I have all of that out, napkins. These are bags to pack um, leftovers in for people to take home, everything for my snacks, and I know where everything goes. A good tip if you're not sure about what you use for what components yet is to put sticky notes labeling what each tray is for on them, like post-it notes. Especially um, beneficial if you're having people help you and they might not know what your plans are, then they can just read it off the sticky note and you can, they can see it. Um, so that's all set up. And then over here, I have a tray with the placemats to go outside, and coasters for outside, and a tablecloth for outside if I feel like I need it, napkins for outside, and then this is stuff for dessert. I always put dessert on this um, sofa back table here. Then I just kind of cleared off our coffee table and put another vinyl um, tablecloth cover over it just because I'm serving salsas and things and they just tend to get glopped all over the glass which is a pain to clean. Um, it's a very casual thing this barbecue um, so I don't feel the need to be fancy. 
Um, and I basically, I put away all my little baskets. You know, I have a little, ba little box I keep here with my sort of personal things in it, like my journals and magazines and stuff. And I have a basket I keep with magazines on the floor and my little catch-all basket that usually lives on this stool. I put all of those away. I still have to bring up the trash cans to put there, but that's easy to do. And I already have them ready to go in the basement. And then I did prep my kitchen by getting out the machines I needed to use first thing this morning, which I'm about to use. My recipes for my three recipes for baked items are set out. Most of my dry and not refrigerated items are out. Um, so that's ready to go. And my oven is preheated. And I just want to show you guys that I also prepared... Um, so it's been kind of a wet summer and my I do have outdoor cushions but they um you know I don't know what to say but they they kind of hold water I guess. So I brought them all in on Friday actually and it's very warm in our garage right now because it's been very warm out thankfully today and um today is very cool for the party which is nice. But um I brought them in, they're basically all dried out now, and once the sun comes out in full force, but probably around midday, I'll put them back out. Uh, but this is a really important tip and a lesson that I learned the hard way for many years. It's just really nice to have this, um, have the cushions dry so people can sit on dry cushions because surprisingly they just hold water even though they're meant for outside. I've cleared off my counter with the stuff that I usually keep on the end there. Um, so it's all clean and ready. That I actually set up the buffet for the barbecue on this counter once all is said and done. But um, and at the end here I just have my list of things to do today and my menu, which I was going to show you earlier but I didn't have. So I planned this out on Thursday before I went to the grocery store. But, and I wrote down, you can see, who's bringing what. Um, which helps a lot. So, I'm going to start baking and I'll check back in with you guys later. So it's just about 2.30 now and as you can see, I've accomplished a lot on my list. I started out about 30 minutes behind this morning because I decided to take a long shower after I woke up. But then I caught up quickly and I'm actually done with everything up to my 3 o'clock time and I'm a half an hour early now, so you see it worked out well. I'm just going to kind of walk you through and show you what I did. Um, kitchen is basically clean. Now I baked all morning. Um, I made chocolate chip cookies I always make as party favors, which are packaged up in, these, in this little basket. And I'll put this by the door. Um, I have my water pitcher ready, out to go. I always have water on this counter so people know they can always get water here. And then this is for a appetizer my grandma's bringing. Oh, I need another platter for an appetizer my mom's bringing, but I'm not sure what is appropriate yet, so I guess I can't do that yet. And I have my plates out for later. Um, I have to move my charger. But basically, the buffet is pretty much set up um, to easily come down to this level for when the actual dinner is going to be served. Um, I put out the big platters for the meat and the um, utensils and napkins and whatnot at the end as I usually do and those are all the serving utensils for the sides and things and most of the sides are being um, brought by guests. Uh, I just have finished baking. This is the last thing I baked. This is cornbread pudding. That's the side I made and I will have to heat it back up in the oven when I am um, right before dinner. And I also have to get out, the, um, my husband makes homemade barbecue sauce in three different spices. Sweet, spicy, and danger. And after I'm done getting ready, I'll get those out to bring them to room temperature. And I just realized I also need a serving dish for the vegetable relish. So that's it. And I have my toasted coconut to top my coconut cream pie. And I just have one step left for my pie, which was the first thing I baked. So I baked the pie first, and then the cookies, and then the cornbread pudding. And I need to make the whipped topping, but I don't want to make that until kind of right before the party starts. Um, and then I'll put this away. And my husband, he smoked the ribs yesterday. He likes to do them a day ahead because he feels like they taste better the next day. But the lamb he does on the day that we serve it. And so I'll have to clean this area a little bit 
for him to um, put his rub on them and get them ready to be smoked. Um, but that's pretty much done. Um, the kitchen, like I said, is pretty clean. And then my fridge here, party pup fridge. Um, you know, I just bought a fruit plate. I have plated my guacamole and my sauce already so the dishes will be cold. I've prepped my bar where I have a little thing of olive juice and limes and lemons. And I'll put out a little jar of olives. This is my hummus and veggie tray, all prepped, ready to go. Cheese tray, all prepped and ready to go. And that is my coconut cream pie without the whipped topping on it. It has set now and it looks gorgeous. So, it's not a huge party. We're only having 12 people. Then I've set up my dessert buffet and the fruit platter will go here and the pie will go there. But it's all set up, ready to go. And all that's left on my kitchen table here are the things I need to put out right before guests come. So little snacks, peanuts and pretzels, you know, nibbles. And then the crackers for the cheese. This is the platter the salsa and guacamole go on. And this is the bowl that the chips go in. But if I put them out now, they might get stale. Whenever I have an outdoor party or a barbecue or whatever, we're going to be outside, I always have these trays out until dinner. In case we decide to bring the snacks out, I start with them inside. Um, depending on how humid it is, things can get kind of soggy really fast outside. But if it's like today cool and dry, then we might end up bringing them outside. I kind of just wait to see how people, you know, where they want to sit, if they want to be in or out. And then we'll play it by ear and I have little napkins to take outside. Um, earlier today, um, my husband helped me put the cushions back on our outdoor furniture. And I put out placemats and um, coasters. So that's all ready to go and I've prepped the fire pit for if we want to make a fire later and I think today would be a perfect day to do it. And I've also stashed my s'mores box here. This lives in my pantry year round. Um, but I just, I like to keep it out so I don't have to go running, rummaging in my pantry or anything during the party. Um, I've got enough uh, s'more camping forks for eight people to roast marshmallows at one time. And as you can see, my coffee table is now officially ready. And I did bring up the trash cans I always put out for the party. My trash cans are in this cabinet here in my kitchen, um, which can be confusing and kind of get in the way, actually, when I'm doing stuff in the kitchen that people are opening and closing that bin a lot. So I always, any party, indoor or out, year round, put one can for recycle, one for rubbish, and if we're having a larger party, I would put two more of these outside, um, but like I said, it's just 12 people. Um, and I, I reuse the signs, they last about a year before they're too gross to use again. I pretty much preset the bar as much as I can. Uh, I need to put out some wine still, but keeping the white wine chilled and stuff and no ice yet, but I've been making ice all day, so that is useful. And this is a piece of furniture we have that opens up like this. It's actually great. Um, this is it fully open. It closes up and it just looks like a nice kind of console. But um, I open it up so it's ready for the bar. Um, and this is where people know to get come get serve themselves. We've got the wine side over here and the cocktail side over here. And everybody in my family knows that our refrigerator in the mudroom is the beverage fridge, and if they want a Coke, um, soda, or beer, they should go in there. So now I'm done early. I'm going to go groom Winnie and get myself ready, and then finish getting ready for the party. Hey guys, so it's um, a little bit after 5.30 now, and I'm all ready. The afternoon, the morning went very smoothly. Like I said, and I actually ended up being ahead of schedule and I had enough time to relax a little bit, um, you know, take a load off, which was nice. And I'm actually ready now, early, which is great. Um, in about 10 minutes, I'll get out the rest of the snacks um, and put the ice in the ice, what do they call it, bucket and all of that. Um, but things are going really smoothly and this is just such an easy... Um, kind of relaxed party so it's sort of an easy and relaxed setup as well it kind of goes now when things get more complicated like for Thanksgiving or something like that it gets a little more stressful but um, being prepared and having lists and and kind of knowing what works for you it takes a bit of practice but it ends up paying off and I find that every time I have a party I'm so surprised that it gets a little bit easier each time even if I'm doing the same things and especially because I do the same things um, 
And when I, like on a time crunch like this, where we were just coming in from, from being away, um, I tend to stick to a very easy, low-key event or party that I can know I can throw off without a hitch and, you know, have it go smoothly. So um, I'll give you one last look at my setup once I have all the food out and then I'm going to enjoy my party. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I am planning on doing a more complicated barbecue setup video next um, Memorial Day weekend. I'll try to get my act together to do it for that one. So it's before the summer starts, which is probably more useful than posting one when the summer is ending. <laughs> but there's still three weeks of summer here left, or two, I guess, by the time I post this. So I hope you guys are enjoying the last days of summer here, and hopefully um, you enjoyed Labor Day with your family if, um, you know, you celebrate. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.